Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vaga Maradian here at the Paris Air Show at this historic airfield, Le Bourget, outside the French capital. Our coverage here is sponsored by Bell and Leonardo DRS. And we're here on the Leonardo stand to talk to uh, Stefano Villante, uh, who is uh, the Senior Vice President for Defense Sales uh, and International Campaigns at Leonardo uh, Helicopters. Uh, good Stefano, morning. Good morning. Uh, thanks very much for the for the time. Uh, growing in the U.S. market has been uh, critical for Leonardo. You guys are offering uh, the 119, uh, TH-119, the U.S. Navy's trainer helicopter competition. You guys scored a big win, partnered with Boeing uh, with the 139 for the Air Force uh, missile uh, crew uh, uh, mission. Talk to us a little bit about what the bigger growth strategy is in the U.S. market. Um, Leonardo has been always present in the U.S. market for a long time with uh, a manufacturing site that is in Philadelphia uh, that is growing year by year. Uh, of course, since last year with a uh, major program uh, that we won with Boeing, uh, the MH139, we uh, are growing our government uh, sales footprint uh, and uh, we, I think we see several opportunities uh, with uh, the U.S. DOD. Uh, in particular, the Navy trainer, that for us it's an extremely important member. We think we have a very good value proposition, in particular with the TH-119. Uh, we think that helicopter is a helicopter that does everything uh, the Navy is requiring for training without asking any discount. It uh, uh, will be the first uh, single engine IFR in many years. Uh, so we think that uh, will, uh, with a very rugged helicopter, will provide the perfect platform from basic to uh, advanced training. Uh, it's a uh, challenging time in the global helicopter market. Uh, while military may be going strong, it obviously relies on a lot of commercial orders in order to be able to give you that kind of pricing advantage. Talk to us about the global helicopter market uh, and how that's affecting your ability to price on the military side. Okay, the global helicopter market, if you lose traditional, you see that the commercial business has been traditionally growing in the past decades. Uh, right now, it's uh, getting to a halt because what we see is, uh, of course, there are some uh, sectors uh, uh, like oil and gas that have been slow, very slow in the past few years. Uh, we have got to say, as Leonardo, we have got a very diversified product portfolio. We cover several market segments. That means that we are less affected overall by this uh, slowdown. Uh, plus, uh, while the military market traditionally has been decreasing uh, in the range of 3 to 4 percent over the years, uh, it's been always cyclical. And we believe that this is uh, also considering uh, our past year's success in some major military campaigns, we see um, a very good uh, phase uh, uh, and part of the cycle. So overall, we think that opportunities are growing and are helping us to improve our products, uh, to, tailor many, to tailor for our customer. So overall, uh, we, we are in a very good spot in time. Let me ask you about the 609. Uh, that's uh, the small uh, tilt rotor originally developed with Bell and uh, Vusta. Uh, you guys ended up acquiring the entire program, so now it's an all Leonardo product. You guys have first orders. You guys have set up manufacturing in the United States. Deliveries are right around the corner. Bring us up to speed on the program and where you're going to find more commercial and military customers. So, uh, 609 first deliveries uh, will be from next year. We are already seeing several orders, both from commercial customers, and at the same time, we see a lot uh, of opportunities with government customers. Uh, generally speaking, uh, it's a new capability and a new product uh, with a vertical takeoff, but twice the speed of a traditional helicopter. And as we speak with customers and we explore the market, we see more and more applications, so we believe that the potential of the product will be enormous. Uh, do you have any idea how many, from a number standpoint, you know, is the market 200 airplanes, 500 airplanes? Have you guys made that estimate yet about the size of the addressable market? We have several estimates, but to be honest, uh, it's uh, very early to say because uh, it's, it's a new segment that is developing. Uh, so we believe that uh, it might expand much beyond uh, our current expectations.
Stefano Villante, who is the Senior Vice President for Defense uh, and Interna Defense Sales and International Campaigns at Leonardo Helicopters. Absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Best of luck on the program and, and look forward to seeing you again. My pleasure. Thank you very much.